Do you have these lying around? Well, we're gonna take those plastic bags and turn them into Jack Skellington's pumpkin head. To start this, you're gonna wanna grab all those plastic bags and put them in a tall trash bag. I'm using twine from a craft store, but it doesn't really matter what kind of string you end up using for this step. Start by tying it to that top knot on the trash bag and start creating the divots of the pumpkin. It doesn't look too bad. Ended up tightening the string and held that excess with a twist tie. You might not have to do this step. If it's looking a bit skinny, just blow some air into the trash bag and that's gonna plump your pumpkin right up. Now for the paper mache. Using regular white glue mixed with water. Pre-cut out some strips of newsprint and start lying the paper down. I did find that you get a better shape if you place it on either side of the indent and then add an additional piece over the string area. Wrap some of that paper around the bag knot and that's gonna give us a stem. Once dried, did go in with another layer. Sketch out the face. Building everything out with paper mache pulp or also called cellulite clay. I'm applying it everywhere but where the jack-o'-lantern cutouts are. Working on the top, and then once that dries, I'll flip it over and get that bottom done. Now, I didn't go too far underneath this pumpkin, and that's because I'm claustrophobic. A wider opening just gives me more comfort. You're gonna wanna do this to your preference. Time to get those bags out. So the paper mache was actually a little damp inside, so I left the trash bag and the strings for now. Trim up that opening and use an X-Acto blade to cut out that face. Now I'm gonna go in with that pulp and fix areas. You can really take your time and get a nice smooth surface. I was on a time crunch, so mine is a little lumpier than I probably would have liked. Just to speed things up, I did use a couple coats of white glue just over top of the pulp. Now let's get painting. Got some acrylic paint and jack-o'-lantern orange. Painted the stem with a brown. I did end up airbrushing. Skin Illustrator wanted a little more dimension. Grab some black pantyhose and hot glue it to the inside. So here you can see I took some foam and glued it to the inside. This just helps to balance it and makes it a little more comfortable to wear. At this point I decided it was too lumpy for me. I wasn't quite happy with it. So I went in with some Mosh Posh hard coat. Now for this step I highly recommend you're going to want to do this before painting. Don't be like me. Also went in and added some yellow edges for more detail. Again this is something you probably want to do earlier. I would have done this before actually putting the black pantyhose in so that you don't have to worry about getting paint on it. The little sandworm I had floating around from an old look. There's a tutorial and description if you wanna see how to make one of these little guys for yourself. The tail wasn't finished, so I'm just gonna add some more foam clay and paint that up. Okay, so if you're thinking, why is there a Beetlejuice element on Jack's pumpkin? That's because I created this pumpkin specifically for a mashup look. So you can head over to that video and I'll see